Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Our channel is dedicated to leadership topics, IT leadership topics, and ITSM leadership topics. Today's video is an introduction. Introduction to Service Integration and Management, SIAM, S-I-A-M. And I want to do a series on setting up a SIAM. Uh, Service integration. And in this introduction, I want us to start by remembering that IT delivers value to the business, ITIL 101, in the form of services. These services are in the form of, consist of con configuration items, and the services themselves are configuration items. And so these services can be delivered by internal service providers external service providers or um, shared between the two. And so SIAM will look at taking services and move those to external service providers. And so think about this, the processes that help the services be delivered are important, very important. And so part of setting up a SIAM is the services part in part is the processes. And so we want to develop these processes so that the services perform optimally, whether internal or external. And so the external just means that they are supported externally. And so these processes apply to all services and they want to deliver consistent outcomes to the business customer. That's what we care about in IT, right? Consistent consistent business outcomes. And then we should also have metrics in place to measure the services, the processes, the supporting CIs, all that fun stuff, right? And so, yes, this is a basic intro to SIAM, but I wanted to concentrate on these are services that we are going to outsource and we need processes to help those services perform optimally for our business customers to derive value. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave me feedback below. And I encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn. I hope you have a great day. Bye.